So I quickly just looked only with one article about it because I didn't want to get into anything trying to explain the actual meaning of the movie because of course I want to have my own thought about that before I dig into any other people's interpretation and stuff. But I was like, I just want to quickly see if there's a cultural context for that because obviously I don't live in Japan, so I won't know any of that. And for what I could tell, it was the name of the original novel that it was adapted from. They just used that name. It doesn't have a meaning for the film itself because the film is different from the original source material. So maybe in the novel, it has a more obvious meaning or a more straightforward meaning. It looks like, at least in the context of the film, it's just the name that the project had and they kept it because why not to like connect it to the book, I guess. But... I mean, I can have my own interpretation, I suppose. I feel like if I was going to have an interpretation of how the title of the film might connect to the plot and what was going on, I feel like there's a good contrast between the perfect and blue because blue, I, I associate with sadness and feeling depressed or having some kind of negative draining emotion, right? So. I would have that mixed with perfect, which is not what you would associate with having sad and negative emotions. You wouldn't associate perfect as being a way of describing that. There's a great juxtaposition between that. There's a duality in the title itself. And considering what the film is about duality and perfection versus reality, Mima was so concerned with other people's happiness and what they saw of her and living up to their expectations, both as an actress and as an idol, that she didn't focus on herself. So she was so focused on being perfect in everyone's eyes that she didn't actually try to see what she wanted to do. She did a lot of things in that film that she didn't actually want to do, but she did them because that was what was expected of her. And so I feel like there's the, the perfect Mima and then there's who she actually is. And I feel like, you know, that perfect blue duality. Maybe also I would like to say that blue in and of itself is a really rare color, at least naturally. So you can find it all the time in like artificially colored things. But in the natural world, you really don't see blue. Okay, the sky has a blue color, but that's because of light refraction and stuff, which I won't get into because it's not important to this. But blue is not a color that you see a lot. You don't see a lot of blue plants or blue on animals unless it's to distinguish something being poisonous or to have it be a very showy feature on an animal so that they can attract a mate and stuff like that. And I feel like that has maybe some connection I could make as well if we're using blue as a as something going into what the overall meanings of the film were i feel like i could probably do a whole video essay just on how you could connect the imagery of blue to this film if i wanted to but you know having that unnatural color associated with perfection the fact that she was trying to make an artificial version of herself like a fake version that fit with what people wanted and also being an actress she kind of lost herself in her role both you know being an actress but i think she also lost herself in the role of being an idol so that kind of that artificial feeling to what she she was doing 